they might be fearful about the future. So I wanted to shine some light and bring some beauty and hope into their lives, you know? Hi, my name is Belinda Martinez, and I'm a photographer and artist from City Terrace, California. Hi, I'm Valerie Verinda. I'm a volunteer coordinator for a 501c3 charity and an artist as well. The Unity Bridge came from Belinda. Um, I guess she can say what inspired her. I know I received a message from Belinda, and she had this amazing idea to get together and do something on the bridge for the community. It stemmed from anger being redirected into positivity, and my little nieces and nephews and youngsters in the community in mind, like thought about them and how they might be scared and have questions and, you know, lights just popped in my head. Like, all right, tell us what you want to do. And I was like, okay, I want to light up the bridge. And they're like, okay, literally. And I was like, yeah, literally. Cause it's really ugly. When you, when you walk across it, going to school, coming back from school, going to work, like it could be a really scary place. The reason why we actually met was because of that bridge. Her mom asked my grandma if I can walk her over the bridge to the school bus and kind of show her the ropes for school. And that's kind of how we, our friendship kind of started because we walked over that bridge every morning, every afternoon. That bridge is just our gateway to the rest of Los Angeles, to the rest of City Terrace. Um, for younger kids, it's the way out of this neighborhood, uh, no matter where you're going. And the bridge is always there, so it's always your path back home. So it was kind of a sentimental and symbolic kind of place for us to kind of do that. It was a link, like figuratively and literal, you know? Yeah, so when we did the first installation, it was right when all the protests and um, BLM and all this, um, anger was just being seen on television. Growing up uh, in the 90s and seeing all those riots, I can only imagine what the kids these days seeing what was happening now is going through. It's kind of like history kind of just repeating itself. I think what Belinda wanted to do was just kind of break them from all that negativity. Um, gentrification is, is a really um, tricky subject, I guess, because we want growth and positivity in the community. We want there to be more jobs. We want there to be more resources, more activities for kids, but we also don't want to lose our history. The way you had um, said earlier about that man coming and destroying our installation was exactly like how it shouldn't be. It felt like it was somebody like trying to shut us up. Like you guys aren't anything. You guys don't have a right to be here. And it felt really heartbreaking. I mean, I think at the end of the day, the, you know, the bridge project was just a way to unite our community, bring light to our community, and really kind of give our community, you know, a space where they can also feel like they can contribute and be part of our community. And hopefully it continues to be a voice for everyone. And either, even though if there's objective sides, or anything like everybody deserves to have their own voice and their own opinion said and hopefully it breaks us out of the cycle of the norm that we have around here of sirens ghetto birds or whatever it may be that like we can do something different and we can like be enlightened and you know have that spark again and grow and not stay stuck in our surroundings you know so you got to keep on stomping <laughs>